Ja, kom op. Let's back it up. That is hot. That is pretty hot, Sargent. Welcome, everybody. We're here in the factory. I've got my colleague, Sargent. Good to see you again, Sargent. We're going to be looking at heating elements in this furnace. We're going to see if there's any damage. It's on. It's going to be hot. Should we crack it open? Yeah. Come on. Let's, let's crack it open. Sargent, what should we be looking for here if we've got any element damage? Maybe looking for any repairs? You can look if there is any white spot somewhere, but this furnace looks marvellous. If there was any sign of damage, would you recommend repairing any of the elements? Theoretically, you can repair an element just to keep them alive for a short while to get replacement, but in reality, you should keep a stock of a spare elements so you can quickly change them and you can use your furnace in your production. So keep a number of stock elements, keep it obviously up to scratch, keeping everything looking good. Maintenance-wise, cycling the furnace, is that good, that bad? You should always keep the temperature in your furnace steady. That is always the best for the furnace. You can just temporarily go down a little bit the temperature during the weekend, but keep it at seven or 800 not any lower. And the benefits to the customer is they're not going to have to replace elements as much. Yeah, and That's the lifetime great. of element will be longer. I tell you what, let's get away from the furnace, it's getting too hot for me. In terms of after a number of years, what should we be looking at in the elements to see if any failure modes that may be happening within the elements itself? When we have used elements for a long time, the aluminium content in the material is ended then we call it end of shelf life. Then there will be no more aluminium oxide on the surface and then the would, elemental would, will break. Would that be a cantal element rather than a, a nicrosal element? Yeah, I talk about cantal alloy element. Yeah. And they, they create aluminium oxide and when the aluminium content is uh, ended, then the element will fail because then they will generate uh, chromium or iron oxide and they they are not protective, so they will, then they will break and fail. Is there anything we can look at electrically? You can have a meter to, to control the current, but uh, I think the easiest thing is to look at the element. What should we be looking for on uh, keeping good maintenance of the elements? You should always keep the temperature on the element on a steady temperature. You should avoid cycling because that's reducing the lifetime of the elements. And if I get a breakage, can I repair it? Could I actually get in the furnace and maybe look at repairing it, taking it out? I do not recommend it. It will not last for a long time. I really recommend you to keep spare element in stock so you can quickly replace it. And you should actually replace all of the elements in your furnace at the same time. That is the most economical way to change your element. Okay. So that's what we're looking at everyone. The idea is to keep maintenance to a minimum, keep an eye on your elements, and if you have got any failures, make sure you have stock. It's been great, thanks for your advice and your time again today. Everybody, join us in our next video. We might be looking at wire elements, strip elements, and we'll be doing some welding. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Cameraman's fallen over. Yeah. You ready?